Hi everyone, this is the demonstration for CS50 Web Programming Final Project. I've named my project Pix Games, which we'll see later. And the requirements for the projects are to be distinct from the other projects in this course and more complex than those. And it must utilize at least two of Python, JavaScript, and SQL. In my case, I'm using Python, JavaScript, and Django, which is more or less a little bit of uh, SQL with its model. Right. The web application also must be mobile responsive. So let's start off with the registration page. Um, I'll fill in the details. So you'll receive a flash message once the registration is successful and you can proceed to log in. So this is the landing page once you have logged in and you can see again there's a flash message telling you that you have successfully logged in. Okay, this landing page is meant uh, for announcement or promotion to new games like you can see here, Snorlax Run coming soon. And maybe you have realized that this Pix Games is very much Pokemon related. Alright, so I'm going to show you the games menu. On the games menu, uh, you can see a list of games and we have five games in total right now uh, with a high score that is tied to each user. So in this case, it's for Lava Run, the highest score is 20, and it's recorded by this user test. As for user score, because this is a new user, so no user score is being displayed right now. So I'm going to show you the view from another user instead. Okay, so for this user, as you can see, for the user score, uh, there's a score that's tied to each game, all right? And there's a trophy that's displayed if the user is the one that has uh, broken the record, all right? Next, I'll go on to show you the individual game. So the current high score is 10, right? I'm trying to break it up here. Once you have broken the high score, actually, uh, you'll be led back into the games page where uh, you can see that the score is updated over here. So 12, uh, recorded by test, which is the current user. All right. So next, I will show you the responsiveness of this uh, web application, right? You can see here, uh, it's mobile responsive. You can drag open, right? And close it right this is also responsive in the home page itself right okay so that's the end of my presentation uh, thank you very much cs50